That was great. Idea. Let's go watch white people destroy our country. <laughs> and it was all completely wrong language. What's up, Muslim? My name is Mohammed. You know, you, honestly, you could have guessed that one, but go ahead. Assalamu <laughs> <laughs> alaikum. My name is Sway. And we'll be reacting. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be reacting, reacting to clips from, from, from Homeland. homeland. <laughs> and, and we'll, we'll be, be reacting to clips from, from Homeland. homeland. You ever I, seen it? I've never seen it. Nah, I love like a whole DVD. <laughs> either, right? I don't I've definitely heard about it. People have told me to watch it. It's never, you know. Never to be honest, to me. I don't even watch Netflix, bro. Is it even on Netflix? Is it? Um, it's a Showtime show. Showtime? Oh, hey, yo, I don't even have Showtime. I don't even know what Showtime is. <laughs> Let's see. So this is the cover of the show. Oh my what? gosh. You know what it is? It's the idea that modest women are subservient. They're all following one simple thing. They're like sheep being herded. And oh no, this beautiful blonde woman is the one with a brain. She's the one that can take off her clothes whenever she wants. I don't like that. That was that already starting off bad. Like the first thing that pops out to me is colors. Like they're all dark. So what is dark usually associated with, right? And then she's in the middle, red, white, and blue. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I did. Like the U.S. Real, is the real. center of solutions. Yeah. And everything oh, around man, us is a problem. Too. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, let's see this. All right, good. <sighs> Brody praying. Let's go, Brody. Don't mess this up, son. Okay. You got this, bro. Okay. All right. You got it. <laughs> okay, he's trying. Maybe he's trying a little bit too hard. I think he's trying. Ah, he missed it. Wait, no, but he it could have been a cut. I'll give him that. I'll give the cut. <laughs> That's just way off. Word. Way off. He, uh, I think he missed a few parts. Yeah, nope. That's off a little off too. That was a lot of cuts. Yeah, and I, I feel that like was a that's lot. a little racist. That is, that is. I don't want to say it's racist because he could have just been trying, but that's a little racist. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was too much. So, but like, it's so funny because you don't even know if he's trying. Or if like this is just really terrible writing. But then again, like as a character or as a writer, you know, we kind of read a little bit into it. Also, the gargled words at the bottom. That's when I was like, yeah, they not doing it. But I mean, he was saying, basically, yeah. he was saying fatherhood in the, in the beginning. Yeah, no, like, that was actually was, that's pretty good. Like I, I respect that. that. I respect that. And like like doing doing this, <laughs> like doing this, it seems like very dramatic. Like that was dramatic. Like he's always like he's like into some dark like thinking right now. Yeah, like, you know that what I mean? He was like, con like conjuring. Uh, <laughs> It says homeland car shooting scene in Islamabad. Islamabad. Islamabad is the capital of Pakistan. I'm from Pakistan. I was born in Lahore, gang. Well, so we'll see how this is. Oh, he's scared. Oh. Are those real words? I can't even understand what they're saying. Oh, he pulled out the glitchy. Yeah, yeah, hold up. I love the truck. Oh, they oh. picked it up. That is the strength of Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> she said, he said Pakistan unite. I want to know why they're so mad. Oh my God. Right in the face. Okay, let's start with language. They, they said in, in an accent, a Pakistani accent, they're just saying American. They're showing them as savages, like literal savages. It's like, yeah, oh, like, I see these are probably in every single zombie apocalypse movie. Same type, and they're being shot down, they're not stopping. Like, oh, they don't care about what's happening, they don't care about the life that's being lost. It's just, these are Americans, so we should kill them. I don't know where the connection is. This is making it seem like you are going back to tribal lands where if they see somebody who is white, they're going to kill you. And that's not right at all. Islamabad is a really pretty place. It continues to grow and have new buildings that are state of the art and stuff like that. So along with making the people savages, they're also making the city seems like it has never grown in its life. Let's watch it again. Hold on. Okay. Get that Amriki? That's Arabic. It's Arabic. <laughs> that's Arabic. So get that Amriki means like fight the American. We got a bunch of languages in Pakistan. That wasn't any of those. So they're not, they're not using the right languages. They're not, they're not even praying right. They're not portraying Muslims the right way. They're not portraying certain citizens the kind of way. That also shows like, what is the, what is the movie's target population? Like, who are they trying to appease to? Yeah. They're, not, they're not appeasing to Pakistanis. Definitely not. Right, I'm not gonna watch the movie like, oh my God, I heard there was a movie with a Pakistani mob. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, there's a movie in Pakistan that's in English. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I guess all in all, the film industry, no matter where the, the film industry is, just have a sense of cultural competency when you're creating a film and recreating a segment or, or writing a script. That, that's, that, that's all it is. The way to rectify the situation is literally to, to have researchers that help people create the storyline. People in the room behind the camera that can dictate what's happening in front of the camera. It takes two Google searches to fix almost all the problems that you had on screen. And there will be an easy, digestible infographic for you to see. Google. Google. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Muslim for more content. Salam alaikum. alaikum.